How does baking soda help kidneys? Okay, when you have kidney disease, okay, there is so much acid built up, and that is why baking soda, because it neutralizes the acid, it's a weak base. Uh, what that means, it's, a, it's got some alkaline properties to neutralize that acid. And what we know now more than ever before is there is way more acid when kidney disease is present than we thought in the past. Stephen McConnell, we also had videos on him, his experiences working with people. Now it's, it's we're up in the thousands with a variety of people, researchers, doctors, you know, around the US, around the world that have just been given baking soda, sodium bicarbonate, plain old baking soda, the people with kidney issues, and to see what the results are. It's like a test, the baking soda test, a sodium bicarbonate test. Anybody with kidney issues should consider trying a little bit. Now we're looking at like one third of a teaspoon or two pills. What you want is about 650 milligrams per pill, so 1300 milligrams per day. And do a before and after blood work. Do it a little bit up into your blood work so you can see the results. You don't need a lot of time, a couple weeks, three, four weeks to see the difference in your labs. That's all you need. And some people it's been tremendous. Some people have nothing happens, but I can tell you what a lot of people and what a lot of other you know researchers and doctors, people like myself been experiencing is that people, you can bake in soda with kidney disease, they come back with better blood work, come back with a higher GFR, maybe two points, maybe three points, maybe 10 points, okay? You sit as high as, you know, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 points. Some people, it's, it's just a couple points. You really don't know, you can't predict, okay? But you really should just give it a try. And this research and information is just tremendous what's coming out. This is from the Division of Nephrology, Department of Internal Medicine in the Catholic University of Korea. Hidden acid retention with normal serum bicarbonate level in chronic kidney disease. So even the tests that we've been using and most people are using don't even show the proper amount of the acid build up. They don't show the proper amount of what's going on in your body. So let's always do this test. It's so simple. Give it a try. There's a lot of other videos that talk about this. So take a look to your best kidney health.